Hey guys, Lily again. So today's video is my December favorites. Like I say in every favorites video, this month just flew by so quickly, especially December because you are excited for the holidays and then like when the holidays are finally here and over, you're just like, now what? So December was a really fun month and it just went by so fast, but I did have some beauty products I was loving during this month, so I want to show you guys. So I definitely want to film like my um, favorite products of 2011 and then I also kind of want to film another video of like the worst products products of 2011 or maybe I'll combine those but I was thinking that it might be like way too long so I might have to split them up into two videos so I hope you guys don't mind all these like favorite videos but the year is wrapping up and I know there's gonna be a lot of favorite videos going around the YouTube beauty community so I have my basket right here of all the products I was loving during this month so let's get started so the first product I received as a Christmas gift and I know that's kind of cheating because Christmas is at the end of the month and like usually like favorites videos are like things you were loving from like the start or like the middle of the month but I had to include it because I've been loving it and it is a palette that I got from my friend um she watches my videos so shout out to Leah if you're watching um she got me this the exchange gifts and um we are both obsessed with beauty and she got me this gift and I'm just obsessed with it and it's the Shady Lady um, palette by The Bomb brand and I was not really familiar with this brand but then after I received this I kind of like went on Sephora's website and I saw like you know reviews online and now I'm kind of obsessed with this brand and this is what the palette looks like in such like a really pretty design and I just love the colors I'll open it up for you guys it has a huge mirror and then look at all the colors they're like some are like really neutral and then some are like more like darker and like can be worn with a smoky eye but I've been loving these three colors right here and I've been loving Devilish Danielle I love the names they all have like girls names in it so Devilish Danielle just this one's Jamie and this one Insane Jane which is like a taupe color so I've been wearing these um three shadows a lot I'm actually wearing them right now this is like a palette that I've been loving even though I just like got it like a couple days ago but I thought it was um, special enough to be included in this favorites video and it might be included in my January favorites, who knows. And then for some more eyeshadows, I've been loving this MAC eyeshadow in Satin Taupe. I feel like this always ends up in like some of my favorite videos, but it's such a pretty color and I love wearing this in my crease with just like a neutral shade on my lid because it is dark but not too dark. So. I've been loving that. Okay, and then for another eye product, I um, got this like in the beginning of the month and i um been obsessed with the brand Inglot. I mentioned um, my Inglot palette in my last favorites and I got an Inglot gel eyeliner and this is the eyeliner gel in 90 matte. It's like a really, really dark brown, but these gel eyeliners are so, 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 I can't like stress that enough, so creamy. I actually like made some like dents in it. I just never can like keep the prettiness of gel eyeliners. It always gets ruined by the brush, but this is so creamy and it's really dark, but it's not black. So um, I just love the color and um, I just love it. I just apply it with an eyeliner brush and I just been loving that, duh. That's why it's in my favorites video. Then another eye product, I'm like trying to like do this in like some sort of order, but it's kind of random, is this L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Original Mascara. It looks like this and I was in need of a new mascara so I kind of just bought this and I just been loving this and this is what the brush looks like and at first I hated it. I was like it was makes my um, lashes look very clumpy and like this feel really heavy but then I gave it another shot and I just love it now so it really does make my lashes look a lot fuller and longer and it is awesome and yeah so I'm happy I gave it a second shot. So another random like eye product is my Urban Decay eyeshadow brush and I got this brush when I bought my Naked palette back in the summer and when I got this brush with that palette I was just like oh like it's a brush like no big deal but lately I've been using it a lot and I just love it because the brush is like very stiff and like it's great for like packing on like glitter or like sh sparkly shades because it doesn't like cause a lot of fallout and I just love it and then I have like two face products so the first one is another Inglot product and it's my Inglot concealer. It's like really dirty. I don't know why it's so dirty, but I got this like a couple months ago and like I did not like it at first because it is kind of watery. Like you have to get used to it because and a little bit goes a long way. Like it's part of their like young skin makeup brand and that brand has like a lot of vitamins in their products that help like 
reduce like under bag um, circles or, or reduce like breakouts. And it really helps your skin look a lot healthier and like makes your skin glowing and just makes your like look just look very natural. Like it doesn't give you that like cakey look. So I love this and I am in the shade MC1, which is like the lightest shade. So that's like kind of like the only like downfall. I'm not like pale at all and I'm in the lightest shade so these like products run a lot darker so and then another face um, product is this elf golden bronzer and I just recently purchased this but I love it and this is what it looks like I love how it has like four different colors and it doesn't make like my complexion look very like muddy it just looks very natural just you know in the winter I kind of want like a natural glow without looking like too fake or too unnatural so I just been loving this and I just been using it on my apples and my cheeks and sometimes on my forehead just to, like warm up my complexion and then also my neckline because you can't forget about your necklines and then I have a lip product and this is my Revlon lipstick and sweet cinnamon I just love these Revlon lipsticks and this is what it looks like this is such a Christmassy color it's a um like burnt red and I love it especially when I was going for more like a bold lip look nail polish that I was loving I wore this a lot during the month of December and I talked about it a lot in some of my videos is the Milani nail polish in Ruby Jewels <laughs> and this just reminds me of Christmas well it reminded me of Christmas I mean I'll probably still wear it but like not as often but it's just a sparkly sparkly red it just reminded me of Santa Claus and Christmas and it just put me into that festive mood product is something I recently purchased but I just love it because I love the idea um I blow dry my hair pretty much every day that's how I get like my hair to like look like this and sometimes like my hair can like fall flat or it doesn't look very like full so I wanted something that um, would give volume to my hair but I'm not a big hairspray fan because I just hate how like hairspray like makes your hair kind of like crunchy and like very stiff and sometimes like greasy and I got this and it's the got to be powderful volumizing style powder how cool is that First of all, I love this Got To Be brand. Um, they have so many cool products and I use a lot of their products. So I was really excited to try this out and it is powder. Like it looks like baby powder. All you do is you shake some in your palm and you rub your palms together and the powder disappears, but you can kind of still feel it on your palms and you just rub it on your roots and it really does make my hair look a lot fuller. I like my hair when um, I use this and it does not make my hair greasy at all or look oily. It just really just makes my hair just look um, more volumized and I just love that. So I was really excited to try out this product. I think like that is such a cool idea knowing that like I'm putting like powder in my hair but like the powder disappears. I just think that is so cool. And I think that is it. I think I mentioned everything. Yes, I did. So that was all the products I was loving during the month of December. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching and stay tuned for many more videos. And as always, if you have any requests, please let me know in the comments below and I will see you next video. Bye.